Hello everyone, Pacific the Casual Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of VEDA. This is uh, August 23rd, guys. We're almost done. And today I'm going to talk about why I started YouTube and really kind of if stuff's changed. You know, this is just, you can already tell. Let's get into it. So I started YouTube because I was inspired by a few creators. I was inspired by Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Phase Jev at the time. So Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Phase Jev. Mostly Markiplier because that's what when he was getting big and he was, you know, starting to... He took stuff for granted and then didn't, right? Because he's one of the people that exploded. But I was really inspired by those guys. And I was like, you know, I want to do gaming. I just want to. It's, it's a cool, cool thing I can do and I, I would want to do it. So I started YouTube because of them. And my reasons for starting it for, for starting it were very different than what they what those guys said they started YouTube for, right? My original reason for starting YouTube well, there's actually two. One was I wanted it I wanted to make money, and the other one was I saw that I was spending a crap ton of time playing video games and I would rather turn some of that time into some more productive time into money. That's really why I started YouTube was I saw a money-making opportunity. What I didn't start YouTube for was I didn't start YouTube because I liked it. I didn't start YouTube to make people happy. I literally didn't start YouTube for any of that. I started YouTube to make money. And then after, I would say a couple months of making videos, no, more like half a year, I was like, you know what, I don't really want to, this money, this isn't a money thing, this is a passion thing. And I started, like, I didn't even know if I liked YouTube or not, and I decided I liked making YouTube videos. So I really started making YouTube videos just, just because I'd come up with an idea, and I really liked it after that. I didn't do it so much for money. I mean, money has always been a thing with my YouTube channel, because I'm technically what you'd call, like, a fourth-gen YouTuber. Um, I know that there's money in YouTube, and I know you can make money off YouTube. Like, I'm pretty sure anyone who starts a YouTube channel in 2017, 2016, 2015 knows you can make money on YouTube. And, you know, most people do it because of that. It's what they change later on that really benefits their channel. For me, it's not more about making money anymore because... I've like figured out, oh, if I make money, yeah, I might I might decide to live this rich and lavish lifestyle or whatever. But more importantly, because I grew a core audience that actually cared about the stuff I made, I I decided, no, I need to make money so that I have more time to make YouTube videos. That's really what it came down to because I love making them because as soon as I started uploading daily, which was a year ago at this point basically as soon as I started uploading daily it was just like oh man this is a ton of fun look at how much better I'm getting you know the views and watch time and stuff didn't matter to me it was like the finished product and how good I got at the process of doing it and now you know it's kind of like oblivion where if you keep using a sword and someone walks by and they're like you look really good with a blade they're just like Jared how do you do this da 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 Jared, I watch your videos, you're doing, holy cow, you're entertaining. Or like, Jared, how do you do this in Photoshop? Oh, that's easy. I Let me, you know, I like, it's just that. Like, oh, you're a decent YouTuber now. I would, YouTuber, eh, whatever. But yeah, I would say never, ever start a YouTube channel with the intent of making money. And be honest with yourself. Don't say, oh, I'm not supposed to start a YouTube channel to make money, even though that's why you started it, and don't try and trick yourself. If you are going to start it, start it because you make money, and then go through the lesson of learning why you don't start a YouTube channel to make money. And that's probably a lesson that I learned. There's a lot of things that I learned as a new YouTuber from the 2015 era that I really think that even though it made me look like a really bad person, I'm glad I learned that stuff. Stuff like not being fake I learned early, not doing stuff for money I learned early, not doing stuff for views, you know? That's really something that I learned how to do. And then I learned how to take something that I like 
and make it practical. Maybe I don't, don't do something exactly the way I like it, but I turn it into something practical. Age of Empires is a good example of this. I love Age of Empires 3, right? Playing it pro is only practical if I live stream the game because then I'm getting all that training in, right? So really, that's a thing. Making money on YouTube, AdSense is not practical. Brand deals and super chats and Patreons and all that, that is practical, right? That's something that makes it worth it. So I really think that my lessons that I learned growing up in YouTube, you know, I had a very slow channel start. I don't think you guys know this. It took me, um, I believe, two years to get 500 subscribers. And some of those subscribers, I would say about half of them, I earned in pretty shady ways, which I may just talk about this because I kind of want to talk about this, but I earned those subscribers in shady ways. Luckily, most of them are unsubscribed now, thank God. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And you guys, I can tell you guys right now, you can take one guess and know what's coming up next in the next VEDA. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new because I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad that you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream or vlog. Whatever I decide to make.